Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. But before I get into that, I want to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for the wonderful comments that you make. And thank you for all of the songs that you request. I really do appreciate it. I'm very thankful for every single one of you. I have several news items tonight, as I usually do. And this first one, you can see the, the uh, headline, The Truth Behind China's Stealth U.S. Border Invasion. Um, I, I have a couple of highlighted sections here that I want to read to you, and then I want to talk about this a little bit. Customs and Border Protection officials have been reporting massive increases in Chinese nationals attempting to illegal enter, illegally enter the country, particularly since late 2023. The Daily Caller News Foundation reported earlier this year that the White House relaxed the interview vetting process for Chinese nationals who have illegally crossed the border, further fast-tracking their entry into the country. Why? In the first six months of fiscal year 2024, Customs and Border Protection officials nationwide encountered nearly 42,000 Chinese nationals, a 133% increase compared to the same period last fiscal year when they encountered just over 18,000. So between this year and last year, we're talking about 60,000 Chinese nationals entering the country. And if you look at this video on X, these are not, these are not uh, old people. These are not families. These are military age males. And there are some females, but not many. Now you have to ask yourself, why all of a sudden since 2023 have Chinese nationals been entering the country? And I've talked about this before in other videos. There is a, uh, there's a place in Panama called the Darien Gap. It is a rugged 60 mile trek through very foreboding jungle and a lot of people die and get injured, break legs and arms and stuff because it's, it's very slippery, it's very steep, and it's very difficult to pass through. But at the edge of the Darien Gap, on the southern edge of the Darien Gap, there is a camp that has been found and reported on that is filled with Chinese nationals. They're staging them to get into the United States. They don't go through the Darien Gap. They get flown into uh, excuse me, northern Mexico, and then they cross over the border from there. You know what this looks like to me? It looks like an invasion. Let me show you something. This is a page, and I'll put the link in the description, from the U.S. Department of Defense. And it tells you about the size of various units of the military, of the army, basically. So a battalion is made up of four to six companies and is about a thousand soldiers. A brigade is 5,000 soldiers, so at least two to three battalions. A division is 15,000 soldiers, so three to four brigades. And a corps is 45,000 soldiers. So we have more than a core. A field army is made up of 90,000 soldiers. So we have the, we, we have the uh, two thirds of a field army of Chinese in our country that have been allowed to come into our country. And for what purpose? What are they going to do when they get here? This is what our government is doing. They're allowing the Chinese to invade us without even firing a shot. 
it's unbelievable to me. It's absolutely unbelievable. Huh. The next article I have is entitled AMAC Action Opposes Biden's Cuts to Medicare Advantage. Apparently Biden, if you read the article, has been cutting Medicare Advantage for the past two years. Isn't that nice? That is the medical plan that almost every senior in the United States is on. <laughs> Including me. And he's cutting it. And you know what happens when he cuts it? The seniors have to pay more deductibles, higher deductibles, before they can get health care. That's what your president is doing. The next article I have is entitled Convention of States EV Bust and Turbo Cancer. Uh, the reason I highlighted this article is because of the Convention of States. If you're not aware of this, there is a group that is trying to promote a Convention of States. The Convention of States is a constitutional way of getting amendments to the Constitution without having to get them through Congress. And they are working on a, constitu a constitutional convention, the Convention of States, to amend the Constitution to do some things like require a balanced budget, which would be uh, devastating to all those crooks in Washington, and possibly to get term limits so that they can't stay there forever and suck off the public teat. And there's other things that they could do with it too. And the negative side of it is that the bad guys could get in there and try to get uh, some bad things done to, to amend the Constitution in ways that would hurt. But the thing is, they have to be agreed upon. So it's unlikely that much bad would get passed through there course you know the devil's always in the details and the final uh, article that I have is college student cries after finding out punishments following arrest at ASU and Camden this is really uh, kind of a lousy headline it says after finding out punishments she knew what the punishment was before she was arrested and she could have avoided it by just leaving as she was told but she chose to stay ASU senior Brianna Brocker was among the 20 students who were arrested when law enforcement cleared the campus of the camp. She told ABC 15 Arizona last Friday she will not be able to graduate because the suspension she received will cause her to miss her final exam. Well, boo-hoo. You knew what you were getting into, and you chose to do it anyway. So this is what's called learning about life. You know, in life... Your actions have consequences. And when you know what the consequences are before you take the actions and you take them anyway, you're making a conscious choice to suffer those consequences. And so now all the students are suing, of course, to try and get their suspensions removed. But unless they find the right judge, I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, you know, the kind of justice system we have nowadays, all you have to do is find the right judge and you could get anything overturned. But uh, they knew what the consequences were long before they got arrested and they had the opportunity to avoid those consequences and they chose not to and so their lawsuit should be thrown out. We'll see if it is or not. In the meantime, I'll pray for you, my, my followers, that you live an abundant life, that you're healthy, and that you live a long time, and that God keeps you safe from harm. I pray that he will do the same for every person that you love. But I pray most of all that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet out.